Okay, right, if you're watching these as a series, the last one that I finished, I finished here. We just found what I called the IQ Limited by MAF or Mass Airflow Smoke Map. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go through the hex dump and I'm going to have a look for the turbocharger map. We could look for these maps in any order we like, but I'm going to look for the turbocharger map. So I'm going to go searching for it. Now obviously it helps if you have an idea of what the turbocharger map looks like. I'm hoping that Winolds will spot it. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. You can see there's some maps that have been found here. I could go through the maps in order, but I'm not going to. I'm going to jump around a little bit because I'm sure there are some that you would prefer to find fairly early on. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that this is the turbocharger map. If I go on chip tuning forums and the like, I will find maps that look like this with little bumpy, bumpy, bumpy bits like that. But of course there are lots of maps on here that look like little bumpy bits. I mean, look, there's another one over there. And of course the smoke map looked a little bit like that. But I'm going to assume that this is the one that I want. So I'm going to double click on that one and, and just assume that Winolds will pick up everything. Now, as before, I have to double check to see does Winolds know what it's doing? Well, I'm a bit worried over here because that doesn't look like Winolds has got a clue what it's doing. So I'm going to double click on that. It's telling me it's engine speed and revs per minute, but the factor offset is obviously silly. So I'm going to put one in there and see what that does to the numbers. Um, they seem reasonably acceptable, don't they? I mean, this one up here, nearly 5,000, might be a bit high, but they seem reasonably okay. Um, I guess most of the time we're going to be driving around down here in this sort of range. Then we've got this one. Now, what's this one going to be? And what's this one going to be? Well, we were looking for a turbo map, so one of these has got to be something to do with pressure. So lots of pressure. And, and one of these has got to be something else. Now, the, the thing that's balancing pressure is the amount of fuel. So what we're looking for is the amount of fuel. Now this one runs up to 5,000, which is a bit of a clue because it'd be very hard to get that to make any kind of sense if it was pressure. Because I'm not going to get an ordinary air pressure of 5,000. And if I decide that it should be one nought off and it's 500, well that still doesn't make sense because that's then too small. So the choices up here don't make sense for it to be air pressure. So maybe what I'm looking up at up there is the injection quantity. So what I'm going to do is take a guess that that's what that is. So I'm going to put IQ again, milligrams per stroke. If you've looked at a few of these videos, you'll be used to this by now. I'm going to go for my one decimal point of precision and the factor we've used on this before was 0 0.01 so if we've looked at a few of these we should be getting the hang of it by now. Now there we are we've got figures that if if you've looked at some of the other maps with me on here will now make quite a lot of sense because look they are naught and they run up to 50 and we had a maximum of somewhere between 50 and 70 on the other maps so that all seems to make sense. Right, now that leaves us this one. And what are we looking at? Well, the numbers, do they make sense? Well, yeah, they probably do because we know that with very, very little boost, we've got value of about a thousand. I mean, we know that because we've seen figures of around about a thousand on other maps. So does it seem reasonable that with lots of boost, we might get somewhere in the region of 2,000 and perhaps a maximum of what's the highest there? 2,350. That sounds fairly reasonable to me. So I'm going to guess that what I've actually got is a measurement which is in millibars. And I'm going to assume that what I'm looking at is air pressure. So I'm going to put in there air pressure. So I'm going to assume also then that I've actually got the correct map that I'm looking at the boost map. If I'm correct and those figures are about 2000 then the offset is okay and I'm not going to need to change the precision so I, I could be okay this could be nice and simple so I'm going to just click OK. Now 
as I've said before the simple way to check is to look at the other views now if I look at 2d obviously that won't tell me anything because when I look at 2d it's just going to look like that which it does perhaps not exactly well I don't know yeah I think it probably is exactly like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and look at 3d now everybody who does chip tuning will spot this a mile away this is a boost map so we have actually found the boost map so we, we, we found it you know in next to no time we found the map that controls the boost of this engine so this might be a map that I want to change at some point in time to make a difference to the amount of boost so there we go it's over here I've got an address for it so I'm gonna click gone I'm gonna just go over here and click on here. oh I didn't even need to it's gone before I could get there and I'm gonna leave it at that